Hello you Demi, I am Shazad Ahmad from Shekzi.com and uh, welcome to lecture number 31. Today is we are going to continue our JS section. So you can easily understand what's happening uh, inside the JS sections. Make sure we are we are working on uh, Bootstrap 3.x. Why? Because before learning or before starting Bootstrap 4, you have to familiar with Bootstrap 3 so you can easily understand what's going on while learning Bootstrap 4. So, uh, in the last lecture, you learned how can uh, you use your model uh, using button, how can you create your models and uh, how can you call a particular model using uh, jQuery. You, you can see uh, I have a single dot index.html file I have a custom.js file we are uh, we are creating or uh, we are calling or in simple words uh, our JS script we are writing our J script JS JavaScript or jQuery script inside our custom.js file and we are writing our uh, styling uh, inside the style.css file make sure we embedded these two files this is your style.css file and this is your custom.js file make sure we have also loaded or embedded the bootstrap setup which is bootstrap.min.css one file the jQuery set file and bootstrap.min.js file okay so now how can you create tabs using bootstrap first suppose uh, go to bootstrap documentation which is 3.3 the current version the last version was 3.3.7 and go i am working on javascript or in simple words we are working on javascript sections we have completed the component section and we have also completed the css sections okay hit the javascript sections go to your tab you can see you have a different type of tab these are the tabs so uh, these are the tabs so how can you create these tabs using bootstrap so you can call these tabs uh, by using uh, this is script uh, this is the jQuery script and uh, you can also call like this okay they are uh, telling you or uh, they have a documentation it's totally depend upon you either you are uh, going to read each and everything or um, all the documentations or uh, you can just uh, okay so let's start uh, we are going to create the tabs so how can you create the tab make sure uh, i have to remove this so we can uh, further code okay now you can see we have container row and we have column so this is our grid okay I'm saying that these are the tabs first of all I already told you that there are two approaches first you have to memorize each and everything each and every class each and every step or you just memorize that oh, where is the tab tab section exist you know very well the tab section uh, exist at the javascript section so this is the javascript and uh, this is the tab so uh, if you have memorized or uh, so this is enough for you so copy these sections first of all make sure uh, if it's totally depend upon you copy the all code okay copy this code or your nav bar starts here sorry nav tabs not nav bar okay copy these tabs and you can paste these tabs here now go to your uh, create some spaces by adding br okay so now you have tabs make sure I'm saying this is the eight columns okay so now we have 
we have these tabs first of all how they are working or in simple words how it works remove these tabs for suppose now you have a single tab like this okay so just a second i'm going to explain what's going on okay so now you can see you have i'm saying in this sections i'm saying this is home tab okay go to okay refresh the page so now i this tab is active active now right now this tab is activated how this tab is activated because so you can see if you can remove this line of these line of codes you can see now you have your code so you are creating the tabs using this nav nav tabs okay and when someone click on this anchor button you can see it's calling the home id where is the home id you can see the home id existed so it can open this tab by default because we are using the active class here and also here so uh, i'm going to create another tab now what is the role of this tab i'm saying presentation and now i'm saying class is nothing now i'm i'm saying that anchor href and i'm saying about us first suppose so uh, i'm saying when someone hit this button okay so now this is about us id we are going to call and i'm saying area control so area controls i'm saying about us make sure a is capital okay or you can uh, use lower letter okay small letters so i'm calling this and what is the role i'm saying the tab so data toggle i'm saying tab so go to your page refresh the page so now you can see you have another tab uh, when you hit this tab nothing is happen because you have to create another panel for this section so now tab content in the tab content you can create another div and you can see that this tab pan and now you can give an id which id so your id must match with this and this so this id and now i am saying this is about us section go to your page refresh the page so now by default when you load your uh, file the by default home tab is activated why because you are using the active class here you can hit this button about us so now you can see it's changing and now it's saying this is about us sections so this is home tab this is about the section you can remove this and you can also write about us tab okay fine okay these are the two tabs for suppose you can uh, also explore what's going on they are adding they are changing this active class whenever you can hit this button so you can uh, hit this button okay so now you have just clicked this button you can see now the presentation which is about a section is activated 
uh, and they have removed just a second they have removed the active class from the home sections hit the home button now you can see they have removed the F active class from the about us and they have uh, added an active class inside the home id okay so now you can create another tab it's totally depend upon you uh, either you are uh, creating like this which we have just created or you can just copy this content and paste this content in below the about us sections so now you can just change these id for suppose i am saying that login for suppose so you can change this login also this and now you have to create another pan tab pan but you have to define this id here okay so now fine go to your page refresh the page so now you can click on the login sec tab it's you can also say that this is login refresh the page okay now you can see this is login login tab okay not us refresh the page okay it's login tab so in this way you can create your tabs uh, using twitter bootstrap make sure you can uh, they are saying uh, if you want to add the animations so what you need you just need to add the fade class inside your tab panel so here is your tab controller tab panel for suppose and uh, now i am saying that you can also define the role as well here as well here and now you can just use fade class here also here now go to your page refresh the page you can see you have just uh, added an animation okay so now it's animating you have uh, animated so uh, you, uh, it's it's totally depend upon you <laughs> you can also read the documentations so these are the methods uh, while calling from the jquery okay so if you are going to open or uh, going to activate a particular tab from the jquery code or using the jquery so what you need you just need to add the this method you, some tab means uh, this id you are saying that this id tab show okay they have some methods for suppose show bs tab show bs tab hide bs tab hide B bs tab okay so uh, you have learned how can uh, you create your tabs using bootstrap in the next lecture we are going to use uh, we are going to create how can you use the tool tips and what are the tool tips so thank you for watching